The word country is jar. To me, I feel that word is a embracing, nurturing word to a place. When I say country, I mean everything. I mean feelings, I mean the sky, I mean the ocean, I mean the river, I mean the animals, the plants, right down to the soil is country. I'm Melinda Kennedy, I'm a Wadarang traditional owner and I'm a co-manager of Muriel. At Muriel we undertake various um, roles in cultural heritage management, cultural advice and Aboriginal perspective with major projects. Our aim for the sculptures and signage was to reconnect the two mineral spring sites of Spargo and Balan. And that includes the broader context of, of Lau Lau Falls and the Moorable River and tributaries. All of the symbols have an individual story, but then put together makes a whole bigger story. When we see a waterway, we know that it is connected to another waterway. Likewise, springs come from one place and another place, but then connects to that creek, and then that creek may connect to that spring. You would hear that terminology that Aboriginal people would say, like the blood, the veins of Mother Earth. I call them like the first conference centre on Earth because that's where we would make decisions and come together. Smoke and water go together in culture. So wherever there is water, there is smoke. We would use the smoke almost like a washing of yourself rather than water. And that was a cleansing practice that has been done for thousands and thousands of generations. If you start to look at landscapes and stand there and you can picture how many, you know, smokings that you would see from miles away. And that was also a very important part of our culture that you knew where everyone was because of that smoke. The landscape component comes from my background as historian and anthropologist. I really uh, love looking at the surveyor maps where you've got almost artistic creations on the maps outlining gullies and waterways. This is a site that has parallel histories and that includes colonisation. That came through with the, the notion of the stock fencing. The stock fence is, is recognisable throughout Australia as early colonisation and, and farming and also depicts that separation or fencing in of, of different landscapes and the beginning of what we know as the rural agricultural area. Some of the techniques for the creation of the artwork are quite complex. Uh, we have gone with uh, natural uh, uh, components of materials. The red gum has been sourced from Wadarung country and it has been removed um, as, as a tree itself for residential development. You will be able to see its age by the blackening along the edges of it. It's so rich and it has histories in itself. there's the pouring of the colours, layering of epoxy resin. We wanted to have a, a sort of natural flow of, of, of seeing, depicting the waterway through the red gum. Lewis and Carl both brought to life our project and they've really understood everything that we have envisioned in our heads as creatives and, um, and use their skills and their knowledge of these materials. 
Cal is the signage writer, but it's not just signage, he's also helped develop the creation of the artistic component of the signage. So they both match and both sort of sit into that environment. We hope that people will stay a little longer, take time to meander upon the paths and have a look at the landscape and then understand a little bit more about the complexity of that, that cultural and natural landscape and environment. With our beautiful sculptures in this project, it's very visible now. I'm really hoping that you all see it and want to go and visit it and walk up to it and find out what do these symbols mean.